You know, sometimes I like Notion. A lot of the times I like Notion updates. And all of the times I like fixing my hair better before videos. Watch out. So first and foremost, I have been really excited to always brag about the fact that I had star.groupy and that I could make tabs like this in Notion. I'd be like, oh, look at that. And everyone was like, ah, oh, how'd you get tabs in Notion? I'm like, I'm just special. And turns out, fun fact, they added tabs in Notion. So this has been rolled out across everything. A couple things that you can't do with it is you can't drag it left to right. Uh, apparently moving forward, there are going to be maybe some updates to things like this is total speculation, but they got to fix this and they're probably going to have a save tabs feature moving forward, which I'm very hopeful of as well as there's been a lot of really cool things that they've updated recently. So for example, on my dashboard here, I can edit this view, click on this right here. And then I can pick an icon of my choosing for this. So since this is projects and I associate that with a wrench cause I'm weird. I can have that and then my day's tasks, I can edit this view to be a checkbox. So then I have a little bit better of a visualization between these two things before I click into them, which is a really nice update. And also kind of makes me question whether I need to have a lot of these headers in some circumstances. Another amazing update that they've dropped recently actually probably factors in pretty well to my notes. So in this section, I have this my week's meeting notes and what this is filtered to is something that you usually weren't able to do. So before what I would have to do for certain things like my meal planner as I casually show you that if you hold control and left click or command and left click, you can open up a new tab. I look at my meal planner and I look at the different meal calendar stuff that I had. There was a this week filter. So I'd essentially have to do format the date and see if it lines up with the now week. And if it was, it would be this week. And if not this, not this week. So then by using that, I could make a this week filter, which would be like this. This week is this week. And then I'd add a this year on top of it. And that would actually be the only way that that would actually work because it would pull in that. So if you had this stuff for two years in a row, I'd, I'd have two years in a row of recipes in a row. And if you want to do that for ease of meal prepping, sure. But for me, no. But now what I can do is if I go into this date property, I can instead change this to if I get rid of these and just make it date is within this week. Hey, let's go Notion. Let's go for adding a feature that's been hacked with formulas for like 10 years. Good job. That hasn't been around that long. You get my point. And then another really nice addition that they made is the fact that, you know, everyone's got their own like theme going on, right? So for me, I'm I'm like a little black and white, but also as you notice here, there is an option to either make a color palette so you can just pick it right here. And then anytime I'd click on here, it would do that. Or in this case, if I made the color palette like this, you'll see if I click anywhere else, it'll stick to a color palette. But I also do have the option for ask every time, which actually might be my preference. So I'd go back to here. And then when you click on it, you have the option to select. So to each is their own on what you'd want to do there and to each is their own on how you want to make your Notion workspace. And that is why, drum roll please, drum roll, Vinicius, thank you, sir. I am announcing the launch of the riseproductive.com website 2.0. There's no reason to say that. But this is a website revamp, as you can tell. I definitely put a lot more work into it than what was on Super SO. I actually just released a new template called the Notion Beginner Bundle, if you want to check that out, and have done a really great job of giving more of an overall experience to the website, um, get a little bit of a journey here, seeing what we do at Rise Productive and it's so much better than it was before. And because of the fact that I'm feeling good about it, if you go to the Notion templates that we have here, you can get anything here for 40% off. If you go to our website and get any of the templates through the rest of this weekend, so that would be December 16th through the 18th. If you use the code RPLAUNCH40, you're going to get 40% off any templates that you purchase there. Definitely recommend you checking out the Notion app system and Evergreen Notion workspace. That next level that I added to this website also gives you a very nice look at what the Notion app system can do for you, as well as a lot of the other stuff that we have on the website. I'm so stoked about this. I'm stoked that you are watching this video right now to the end, but I'd also be even more stoked if you check out this video right here.